today, the Happy Horse from Harris Varsity Baseball team, sitting at four and three, will take on the undefeated CB East team, seven and zero, sitting at the top of the division. I am Andrew Crompton here with Chris Malazzi. Chris, there we are in uh, left field. Chris, what can we look forward to in this matchup? Well, we have a great pitching matchup today. We have two Division One pitchers starting today. St. Joe's commit Ryan Kelly's on the bump for the Hatters, and Elon commit Robert Wellhead for CB East. Let's go ahead and look at the standings for the SOL Continental League. So here they go. We have CB East at 7-0 in league play and setting up top of the division. Our Happy Horse from Hatters are tied for third with 4-3 and three and a game behind CB South. Chris, explain what we can what would mean for the Harris if they get the win. This is a pivotal game for both teams. Harris need a win here to get back in the race and uh, try and defend their Suburban 1 title. But this CB East team is a good team. Now we can go ahead and look at the CB East order. All, all together they're batting 349. Leading off for CB East is number 8, Vince Karahegi. Shortstop, David Yanni. Catcher, Ben Hauser. Right fielder, Brandon Burkhead. Second baseman, Pat Riley. First baseman, Ethan Rode. Left fielder, Sean Uzitsky. DHing for CB East is Mike Kasbar. And center fielder, Carter Uzitsky. Carragh is really the uh, table setter. He's batting 470. And we'll go ahead and look at the Happy Horse on defense as you see the coaches meeting on home plate. At, at first base, we have Kevin Barron. Second baseman, Brad Humsky. Third baseman, Grant Oblisky. Shortstop, Zach Prendergast. Left fielder, Eric Lane. Center field, Mike Mamone. Right fielder, John Hillowack. And catching Eric Thomas. And the starting pitcher today for the Hatters is Ryan Kelly. Ryan, yeah, Ryan Kelly, 1-0 this year. His ERA is uh, 1.38. He's one of the best pitchers in the area this year. And he uh, features a very good fastball, a plus curve on a swing and miss changeup. So we see the coaches meeting at second place, going over the ground at home plate, going over the ground rules. It's a very cold day here at Hatter Stadium. It certainly is. Going to be tough on the hitters. Especially these pitchers on the mound. Let's meet the lineups for the Central Bucks. And there's Pete Moore. He's going into his 12th season with 128 wins. Coach for the Hatters. Last year they are coming off a district win and came in fourth in states. Batting fourth, right fielder Brandon Burkhead. Batting fifth, second baseman Pat Riley. We go over the lineups for CV East. I want to note that the PA announcer for the Hatters today is Eric Rubenstein. And the rest of the CB East Patriots. And now for your Hatboro Horsham Hatter. Batting first, shortstop Zach Prendergast. Batting second, second baseman Brad Humpsky. Batting third, third baseman Grant Opaliski. Batting fourth, designated hitter Chris Nyberg who will be batting for right fielder John Hillwell. Yeah. Batting fifth, first baseman As Kevin we go, Hunter. as we look at the Eric Rubenstein announcing six, the defense and lineup Eric for the Hatters, let's go ahead and look at the keys for the game for the Hatters with pitcher Ryan Kelly on the mound. Kelly's really got his hands full at the CV East lineup. I mean, there's no weaknesses in it, but this, this cold day might help him. Very true, the ball's not going to be carried very far. As you can see, the top of the lineup, we have Caragini batting 469, Yanni batting 370 as we go to the national anthem.
now as you see the Hatters go and warm up for the start of the game. There's starting pitching Ryan Kelly. 1-0 record as you can see. 20 innings pitched. 33, 33 strikeouts. 13 walks and a 1.38 ERA. Yeah, he's not going to put many people on base. He's going to make you hit the ball. But he's also very hard to hit. <laughs> Throwing his fastball in the mid-80s. About 84, 85. St. Joe's is lucky to have him next year. That's why this matchup is so important as... We were talking about for the National Anthem, this lineup for the CB East is full of big hitters. And we'll see how Ryan Kelly does against, against them. As we look at this, this is the center field carries we'll be looking at for the most of the game. You can see the PA announcer behind them. I think that's kind of a distraction, don't you think? Um, I mean, just look at the glove. <laughs> it's very true. He's, he's got one of his better friends back there in Eric Grimstein. I mean, Eric's a bit of a clown. That might uh, distract him sometimes during the games. You also can see catcher for the Hatters, Eric Thomas, is a junior. Let's also spot like the young young guns for the Hatters in the uh, first baseman, Kevin Barron. And left fielder in Eric Lane, and sophomores. Center fielder Vince Caragini. As Caragini comes in for the Hatters. Also got the veterans on the left sorry. side. And uh, Ope Whiskey and Prendergrass. Ope Whiskey is uh, batting 444 going into this game. He's really been uh, the offense for the Hatters lately. Here's the first pitch for Ryan Kelly against Vince Caragini, center fielder. It's outside. You can see his average there, 469. He's also got a home run and nine runs. He's in there for a first strike. One and one is the count. He's a senior. He's going to play in center field. Looks like he covers a lot of ground out there in warm-ups. That's outside for the ball. Man, it is cold outside today. Oh, I can't even feel my hands. I don't know how Kelly can. Get bad for these hitters. Facing both these pitchers in this cold weather. Outside again, three and one. Kelly needs to lay one in here. That's a ball. So I get to full count. Full count. He strikes him out. That was a changeup. That was a now nice batting pitch. Shortstop David Yanni. Three two changeup. Now David Yanni, the shortstop, number one, call for CB East. With one out here in the first. Another lefty. Yeah, he's one of two sophomores in the CB East lineup. He's got five doubles on the air. Timeout called by Yanni. As you see his average there, 320. He's leading the team and runs at 12. It's in there for a ball. East and the Hatters have faced before their first regular season game. Hatters was up 5-1, to one, I believe, in the top of the fifth. Here's a fly ball to left field. Eric Lane underneath it. Back. Backs, and that's going to land up to the fence. There's goes Yanni jogging in the second. You got six doubles now on batting here, catcher now. Ben Hauser. As ben Hauser comes up, catcher. Looks like Eric Lane just misplayed it. That was tough ball. It was slicing. That was right at us, actually. We had a good view on that. It was slicing away from him. Like I said before, they played each other in the first regular season game. Howard was up 5-1 to one in the top of the fifth. And ended up losing that game 8-6. to six. So looking for revenge here. Main on second, one out in the top of the first. And now we'll go to the backstop pass, Eric Thomas, and Yanni will head up to third. So Hauser will look to put the ball in the air here, try to bring in Yanni for East. Yeah, we're on the right side, Humsky's back at second. 
Even shortstop, Prenny's on the, almost on the grass. Good stop by Eric Thomas there. Save a run, maybe. It's a good as a 2 0. Kelly takes a step off the mound. Howser's got 11 RBIs on the air. He's tied for the team lead. Also got one home run. It's a ground ball to the right side. And Humsky will get the out, but the run will score. Batting right fielder Brandon Burkhead. We have two outs in the top of the first, one nothing east on that RBI ground out by Ben Hauser. Brandon Burkhead, right fielder number 35, is now up for east. It's in there for a strike. That's swing and a miss, 0-2 count. See if Kelly throws his curveball here. He was going to the last at bat. Really doesn't want to throw his middle of the lineup any fastballs. Oh, there's a high fastball. There it was. That's swing and a miss, but pass. Throw down the first after strike three. And that will end the inning. East gets one run on one hit. Double by Yanni. We'll go to the bottom of the first. One nothing East. It's clean in for Kelly there. And here's a line for Harper Horsham. Leaning off is Zach Prendergast, shortstop. Batting second, Brad Humsky, second base. And Grant Oliski is the third baseman, batting third. Chris Mottingberg will be DHing today. And then we have Kevin Barron, first baseman. Eric Lane, left field. Ryan Kelly pitching. Eric Thomas catching. And Mike McMillan, center field. Humsky's a really good uh, table setter. He's here's on base is 600. Here's a defense for Central Bucks East. First baseman, Ethan Rhodes. Second baseman, Pat Riley. Third baseman, Carter Uziski. Shortstop, David Yanni. Left fielder, Sean Uziski. Center fielder, Vince Caragini. Right fielder, Brandon Burkhead. Catcher, Ben Hauser. And then we have the pitcher, Robert Wilhaff. Of course, the uh, Elon command. He's got, he's got a very hard fastball. There he is on the mound. Two and one. VRA 2.47. And he's not going to walk many either. These two pitchers are both very, very good. All, all league pitchers. And that's why they're going to D1 college. And I want to note coming up for the Hatters. The shortstop, Zach Prendergast, also a pitcher. And let's talk about him a little bit. Uh, well, he's available to pitch today. I think he's on the close. But I don't, I don't think they're going to use him because he's going to start Thursday. But he's, he's, got, he's got on the Seton Hall to pitch. He's got a very good fastball, curveball. Another, another great pitcher. He's also uh, batting 3.33, leading off here. Excuse me, 3.03. See Brad Homsky warmed up in the on-deck circle. See if Prendy can start something here. So here's the first pitch of the bottom of the first. It's in their first strike. Zach will look at strike two. O2 count. Zach's got to protect here. And he hits a line drive to center field. That's going to shoot the gap. May roll to the fence. Zach's looking too. Looks like he might stop there. And he does. As the ball comes in. Good job of hitting there. He really sat curveball. 
We just took it the other way. Now batting second baseman Brad Humpsky. And here's junior Brad Humpsky. Interesting to see with uh, Brad's speed and good handle with the bat. Maybe bunt Prendy over and see if uh, seniors Hill Oblitsky and Nyberg. Here's the hit by curveball, hanging curveball by Brendan yeah. Guys. Shoot the gap there in right field. Let's see if Homsky can uh, maybe get Zach over for the seniors of Blisky and Nyberg. She takes ball one. There's Zach leading off second. Anything hit to the right side, look for as Homsky tries to lay this on a bunt. Now we'll get past the catcher. Now he might not have to bunt as yeah, great job. Zach goes over to third. Pass ball. So let's see how the defense lays out for East. As it looks like the infield's back in the middle, up on the corners. Yeah, ground ball to second or short should do it. Get the run home. And a hitter's count here too. Look for Brad to work the count. Let's see, we'll take three now. Brad, 11 walks on the air. He doubles everyone else on the team. This is, he's a tough out. Yeah, short, short, short guy. And we'll just sit up there and just take pitches and make you beat him. I compare him to like a uh, Dustin Pedroia. That's what I was yeah. just thinking. Because he's still got that pop. Four doubles on the air, five RBIs. I was just thinking through my mind all the little Dave Estine out there with the glove. That's yeah, low. He's, he's 12th walk. Now batting third baseman Grant Opaliski. Grant's a uh, all league preseason selection at third base. He's batting 444 on the air. There's uh, Coach Pete Moore giving the signs. To Brad Holmes get first, maybe see him maybe take off or get second and third. See if the catcher throws down the second. There's so many opportunities they can do here with first and third, no one out. Trying to tie up the game or maybe more. As the ball gets past the catcher, Brad will get the second, as Zach will hold it third. So now you have second and third, no one out. Hatters are down one nothing, but looking to get that get those runs back. Outfield's not too deep. And a big gap in left center. Corners are in. It's ground ball. Foul. Short stop and second baseman still back near the grass. Grant's got nine RBIs on the year. He's uh he's leading the team looking to add on that here. It's a ground ball back to the pitcher. Hits him, rolls back to the shortstop. Zach will score. Everyone will be safe. Is that will be a hit for Grant? Now RBI? Batting designated hitter. Will have Chris to look like he got digged up there. See if they come out to check on him. Yep. So like we he heard that one from here. Whew. Hit around the stomach. Brad will get to third safely. So we'll have first and third. No one out again. Looks like he's stretched. I think that nicked him in the arm. Hard ball. Looks like they might give him some practice throws. Some more pitches, yeah. Here's a replay. Let's see where it hit him. Ground ball. Looks like Ooh, right in the wrist. arm. Do you see Zach scores? That's painful, especially on this cold day. Definitely. Let's see. It. Just give him some practice pitches. See if he's okay. Now East, ha I don't know if he's available, but East has another stud pitcher. Uh, he's got 20 feet, 25 innings, 1.93 ERA. The senior, kill, kill off. Looks like he will shake it off. I don't know if I pushed that announcement, but they have other options in their pen. 
as Chris Nyberg DHing for I think it's Hillowack, is am I correct? Yes. Hillowack's gonna play right field. So Chris Nyberg DHing. He's also another option if in the bullpen. He's there pretty much the closer. Hillowack. Kel yeah, Kelly and Prendergrass usually start. So again, you have first and third, no one out, to one-one game. Infield's playing back, looking to give up some, maybe a double play for a run here. And it looks like Nyberg hits a pop-up to right field. And Brad will hold at third. Strong arm and right. Good thing he did. Yep. Now batting Good call by first Coach baseman Moore. Kevin Barrett. So here is sophomore Kevin Barron playing first base for the Hatters. Kevin provides a lot of pop in the middle of this order. Look for him. He's a gap hitter. And the way East defense is set up right now, the gaps are wide open. CB is still on double play up. Third baseman's on the grass. It's a strike. Brad Humsky takes his lead off third. Grant on first. Take the ball out. There goes Grant. Safe at second, and Brad will go home. And he's safe underneath the tag. Great call by Coach Moore to send Grant Oziski to second. And the catcher for CB East in, let's see who the catcher is. Hauser. Hauser throws down the second. I thought it was that. that was a delayed steal, right? I think so. Yeah, they got him. So now we have Grant on second base. Has got to an early lead here. Kevin Barron will foul that one off his leg. Well, it looks like uh, Will has got some s some sinking action on his fastball. Let's see a replay of this play. See as they throw down. There goes Brad right as he throws it. Just gets underneath the tag. That high throw might have been a difference. The uh, shortstop had to get up for it. I think surprised CBs more than anything. We have a 1-1 one, one count. Well, half really has some sinking action on his fastball. It's tough to, tough to get in the air. Catcher sits outside. Kevin swings and misses. And Grant is out at third base trying to steal. So we go to the top of the seconds. 2-1 Hatters. So we go to the top. And we'll go to the commercial. The HH TV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitor struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and included which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we're back to top of the second. Hatters lead 2-1. As up for the Hatters will be Pat Riley. Now batting second baseman Pat Riley. I think there's any relation to uh, the heat owner. <laughs> <laughs> Pat 
Pat's junior second baseman. He's batting 346. That's high for ball one. Pat Riley takes a pitch outside. Kelly gave it one hit last inning. Doubled by David Yanni as he goes to a 3 0 count here. But they come back with two strikeouts. Here's the 3 0 pitch. And that's low. They'll start the inning with a walk. Now batting first baseman Ethan Rode. Here's Ethan Rode, first baseman, number 21. Yeah, senior. He's, he's batting 419 this year, six doubles, 11 RBIs. A lot of pop from this kid. A lot of pop from the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> Hope whiskey up on the grass. At third. I'm looking for a bunt here. So that's strike one. Kelly checking on Pat Riley at first. Good block by Eric. Hatters and double play that. There's a runner. Fly ball to right field. It's out of play. This looks like a hit and run there. CB East. As it goes to a one and two count. Kelly checking the new ball. Pat Rowley takes the lead off of first. We have no one out here in the Top of the second. Another good block by Eric. Two two count. And here's a two two pitch. Oh, looks oh. like he was leaning. Oof. Good move. That was a great move by Ryan Kelly there, trying to pick off Pat Rowley. That's a favorite move among righties, the uh, the subtlest pick up in your left leg, which is really should be a balk, but they don't really call it. Gets gets the runners most of the time. Right. Go to full count. Here's a replay of the pickoff move. Let's see what Chris is talking about. Sure. He, he pulls up his left left leg just a tiny bit, and a runner starts leaning the other way. We're back live, full count. We'll try it again. Pat Riley gets back safely, standing up. And White's on the road here on a 3-2 count. Figure they're, either he's got to put him in the player, it's got to be a walk. I would, wouldn't be surprised if they do that. But you got to be worried about the strike him out, throw him out with Kelly and Thomas. He does not go. And he strikes him out looking. So that's a third strikeout for Kelly. Now batting center fielder Sean Usowski. So Sean Yuzowski, left fielder, number 14. His brother, Carter Yuzowski, will come up later. Sean's batting 365. He's playing left field. He's got six RBIs on the air. Well, that's close. Ooh, he is determined to get him, isn't he? He's getting closer and closer. So we have one out here in the top of the second. Pat Riley on first base after a leadoff walk. And Sean will take that high for ball one. Kelly looking for a ground ball here. Turn two, get out of this inning. We got a 2-0 count.
Pyro has to be hesitant to go now after he knows Kelly's keeping an eye on him. Yeah, Thomas behind the plate's got a very good arm, too. Plus, Kelly's quick to the plate with his sidestep. Here's the 2-0 pitch. It's a grand ball. To shortstop, Prendergast gets the out second. Does not get the out at first. Now batting designated hitter, Mike Kaspar. Kaspar is a DH in for well half. He's a senior, batting 333 on the year. It's only his uh, sixth game. I don't know if he's coming off of an injury or joining the team later or what happened there, but and it's already in the lineup today. So we have two outs here at the top of the second. We have Sean Uziski at first. That's a strike inside. And here we're going to show you the replay. The last out. As you can see a ground ball up the middle. As Zach Prendercast was looking for two, try to step on second. Just misses the out first. We got an 0-1 count here. Ooh, I almost hit him with the, looks like a curveball. So it goes to a 1-1 count. Yeah, I feel it's pretty much just playing them straight up. Usually lefties, they shade over to the right. They are just straight up. Center field is right behind second base. It's a line drive to the right side. That will get through. Looks like Sean Uziski will stop at second. As we'll go to first and second, two outs for now batting third baseman Carter Usowski. Go back with a nice throw there. From Carter right. Usowski, third baseman, brothers of Sean, who is at second base now. Well, we think. Yeah. <laughs> we would hope. <laughs> As Not too many Usowskis running out there, are there? This is the number nine hitter. He's just a sophomore. He's uh, struggled so far. He's batting 231. Looks like they have the same stance, but different uh, parts yeah. of the plate. Yeah, lefty righty, wow. Here's the pitch. Kelly's really liking his first first pitch breaking stuff. Here's a replay of the last hit by Mike Cashar. Line drive right past Brad Holmes to get second base. See the arm from Hill back here. That's why he's in the lineup. Here's the 0-1 pitch, trying to get it out here before they turn over the order. Wow, that was like off the balance there. Yeah. This goes to 0-2. I mean, in high school you expect, you know, first first couple of pitches, fastball, fastball, until you get ahead of the count, but Kelly's pitching, like, backwards. That's why I love it. That's why he's going D1. And if you're a hitter out there, you don't, you don't even know what's coming. You haven't seen his fastball yet. You don't really know how to time it. And there is a fastball. Looks like he's... Dad, Popped yeah. out of play near the first base side. Defensive swing there. Stay alive. That's why Kelly wants to get this out here before they turn over the order with Carhegi on deck. Struck out last time, but still a dangerous hitter. So we have an 0-2 count here. Top of the second. Howard's off 2-1. Kelly really wants to keep his pitch, down, pitch count down today. You can get this one quickly. Oh, and there's the curveball we saw earlier. So East gets two runners on, but Kelly holds them. As we go to the bottom of the second, Harris try to attack on their 2 1 lead. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. 
HHTV now streams events live to the internet, from Crooked Billet Day to graduation, from the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year, to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we are back. It is 2-1 Hatters, the bottom of the second. Leading off here in the bottom of the second is sophomore Eric Lane. Eric had a solid year. He's batting 280. Also likes the uh, work the count on base of 420. And seven runs on here. Here's the first pitch. He's a, he's a nice burst of energy in the clubhouse. Also aggressive on the base pass. He takes for strike one. There's one, that one like, count. sinker that he's throwing. It's hard to pick up. There's right, strike two. I think Eric thought it was a little low. So we have one, two count. It's a ground ball to right side. Fence off a curveball nicely there. Stay alive. Foul ball. <laughs> and it takes this ball two. Evens up the count. Two two. Let's see if Eric can put a little nice at bat together here. He fouls this one off. Make him throw pitches. It's good. You want to get this guy out of there early. Looked like the top of the order hit him pretty hard last last inning. Mm -hmm. Fouls another one off. Is this the up and coming Brad Humsky? Plays just like him for the outfield, left fielder. On the left side, though. That's what you can see Brad Homsky, Eric Lane, Kevin Barron. Still has more years to come. <laughs> so he looks at strike three. Now batting pitcher Ryan Kelly. Also, John O'Malley is a very valuable pinch runner. Here's the starting pitcher, Ryan Kelly. Kelly, of course, going to uh, St. Joe's. He's uh, struggled a little bit this year. He's picked it up of late, batting 206. But he does have the uh, team's only home run. So look for him to uh, have some pop. So if Kelly, Kelly can get the pop going to the bottom of the order, this, this order can be very dangerous. It's 1-1 one, one count. In there for a strike. It's the only time the pitchers will face each other, seeing as uh, well half not hitting. Let's see if Kelly can get the better of him here. Hits a ground ball, second base. And they'll get the out for out number two. Now batting catcher Eric Thomas. Here is junior Eric Thomas catching. Eric Thomas batting 250 this year. He's also number, this Hatters team really uh, works counts. He's on base is 400. Play small ball. He takes ball one. But he does a great job behind the plate handling these uh, pitchers. Here's the 1-0 count. That high pitch will go to 2-0. That one sounded like it hurt the catcher's hand. Eric files one off down the first baseline. Goes two and one. 
Dennis Riley can uh, energetic at first base. Assistant coach for the Hatters. There's the 2 1 hitters count. Derek Thomas, 3 1, makes an even better hitters count. On deck for the Harris is Mike Mamone, and then the top of the order. So, see if Eric and Mike can get something started here to get the top of the order up. As Eric will begin to do that as he takes for ball four. Now, batting center fielder Mike Mamone. Looks like John O'Malley will pinch run for Eric Thomas. Maybe we can get him to second here and see if Mike can bring him in with a single. Yeah, now a very good base runner. He's got six runs on the air and and basically just a pinch running roll. See, so fouls the first pitch off. Mike Mamone, center fielder, senior. O oh, one count. Got a balk from the CV pitcher, it looks like. Mally will move to second. John will go to second on the balk. I'm just going to tell him we did it wrong here. Coach Moore. That uh, was the. Uh, is the other umpire changing the call here? Let's see the replay, see if we can catch this. That's I don't see a balk here. He looked like he stepped off cleanly. Let's see, ump is bringing him back as we speak. Yep, that's the right call. Coach Moore is not happy about that as he's talking to the home plate ump. He's just, he's hoping I'll get the next one. I think I'd, every manager would do the same. I didn't see a balk there, did no, you? I, I mean, look at that more closely, but. So we've got 0 1 count, two outs. Bottom of the second. John O'Malley pinch running for Eric Thomas, first base. It's outside for 1 1 count. John is decently off first. It'll go at any time. Doesn't go now. Mike fouls one off. Goes to one and two. See so if Mike can put one in play here with a one two count. Two outs, men are on first. Yes. And he fouls one off. That's strike three. So Hatters do not get a run, but get a walk by Eric Thomas. They'll go to the top of the order next time we're up. One, two, three. We'll go to the top of the third. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters, a student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet. From Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year. To the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we're back. Hatters are up two to one against undefeated CB East. As CB East will go to the top of the order with Vince Caragini leading off for them. Center fielder Ryan Kelly can get us first. Now two batting center fielder counts. Vince Caragini. And Vince was part of that. 
start off the game after a 3-2 count. See if he can make up for it. And that's outside to the lefty. Fouled back. A lot of brave spectators for this game. And it's cool weather. It's a line drive right back at the middle. Karen Heaney will get on with a single to lead off the inning. It's a good pitch by Kelly. Batting shortstop David that's why Yanni. he's batting 470 right there. You can take that little way fastball and drive it up the middle. And here's David Yanni, who doubled last at bat to deep left field. Mm -hmm. She's got six doubles on the year. And I didn't notice this last at bat, but he's a lefty, so he hit that opposite field. Yeah, that's why it was had that tough uh, spin that the uh, Lane had trouble handling. Kelly will check on Vince. I think he's just a sophomore. This kid's got a bright future. Playing shortstop. Maybe look for him in the upcoming years. As I'm sure CBS and the Hatters will play some meaningful games. As the runner goes, but it's fouled off. CBS looks like the trying to get the lead back here in the top of the third. Here's a replay. Look at that swing by the lefty, Vince Caragini. Yeah, watch him keep his weight back there. And we'll come back to a 1-1 count versus David Yanni. That's where Harris had trouble with Kelly. He gets him so off balance with his uh, breaking stuff. And Yanni shows bunt but takes a strike. It makes it hard to sit back on that fastball. Looks like that was a sacrifice, but he pulled back as a... Uh, Coach Pete Moore will come out, and looks like the rest of the infield. It's got a bump play. Maybe talk about the situation here, what they want to do with no one out, man on first. So they break off. One, two count. I don't know if you'll see Yanni try to lay one down here. If he fouls one off. If he does, you could see a first and third baseman's charge and uh, have Pumsky second baseman cover first. It's called the wheel play. So he's got a good wheel off first base here. Let's see what Kelly does. Try to get a ground ball here, maybe turn two. Here's the pitch. And Yanni will go two for two for the day and line it up the middle. It's a throw we'll down in the second. Catcher ben Hauser. So with a man on first and second, no one out, Ben Hauser. Grounded out his first time. Also with an RBI. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the replay. This is a good pitch on the inside half, but oh. I catch a little too much of the plate there with that running action. We have two hard balls to start the inning. Let's see if Kelly can bounce back here. As Hauser's already laying down a bunt. There's. And takes it for high. So we'll see if he can get Vince Karahini and David Yanni to second and third. First baseman's charging, and second base got to cover first. But since there's a runner on second, I don't know if uh, Opelissi's got to charge at third base. Looks like he's playing back on the yeah. dirt. So it'll be Kelly's job to get anything yeah. on the third baseline. And he's falling the other side there's of the another mound. another bunt. Take a ball again. That's a tough, tough cover for him because he's falling the other side of the mound. I think it's safe to say Kelly's getting a little rattled as he takes a step off the mound, shaking his head. Yeah, he's frustrated. See if he can lay down a bunt again. He does not as he goes to 2-0. Oh. He'll line one back up the middle. That will win. Let's see if Vince Carhagen will score as Mimone throws in the home. Does not get cut off. 
And Yanni will go to third. And Hauser will go to second. Now batting as Ramon right does not hit the cutoff man. Day. And Karagi gets in the home plate safely. And David Yanni and Van Hauser will move up a base as Brandon Burkhead will now be up with second and third. Burkhead struck out his first time. Man, I was playing right like a couple of innings ago. And also, no one. So we got a 2 2 game, no one out in the top of the third. Corners are in, middle of the infield is back near the grass. As Burkhead takes a ball. Let's see the replay of this RBI single by Ben Hauser. As Mamoon tries to get the man at home and overthrows the cutoff man at, ho at have, pitcher's they have mound. They dead in second there. Well, I think if that, I think it's Kevin Barron, the cutoff man. If he cuts that off, Yowser yes. and uh, Hauser and Yanni stays at their respective base. The count is 2-0. To Brandon Burkhead with a man on second and third, no one out. That was a good arm by Mamone though. Mm -hmm. So you can look for that later in the game. It's outside, 3-0. I wanna look for uh, them to score on a pass ball here. Backstop's pretty short. It's gonna be tough to get a run him that way. So we got three zero count. Kelly's got to throw a strike here to prevent the bases from being loaded with no one out. He does. Throws a ball. So now we have bases loaded for Pat Riley, who walked. Pat Riley, who walked last time up. See another meeting at the mound. Looks like Kelly's senior buddies. Try and calm down. So it's defensive wise with corners in. Ground ball to them. They'll look to go home. Middle of the infield look to turn two. Yeah, I feel it's pretty much normal. Danny, uh, Yanni's at second base. And he's a catcher. I, I don't know what kind of speed he's got, but. I don't expect him to score on a single. He leads off third. We have good arms. We have good arms in this Harris uh, outfield. There's the 1-0 pitch, and that's outside. Looks to try to throw another strike here. Try to get out of this jam with no one out. Bases loaded. Tie game. It's good block by Eric Thomas behind the plate. Look, there's a couple on. Looks like we have someone heading in the bullpen for the Hatters. Dave Brown? Cannot say. It's, I think it's Guy because Hill acts in right. Prendergast is at shortstop, yeah. It's junior David Brown, he usually comes in relief. As Kelly will walk in a run. Eric Thomas trying to go out there to cool Kelly down. P. Moore will now come out. This is his first visit. This day? I believe so. I mean, it has to be unless he has yeah, to bring in Dave. You can't make more than one visit without making a substitution. Uh, Dave just thought it warm up, but I guess, I guess that visit was last there. So let's look at the situation here. We have a base loaded, three-two, no one out. Three-two lead for CB East, no one out. Base is loaded. How about first baseman? What Ethan do they do Rowe. as Ethan Rowe comes up, who struck out last time? What what can you look for? from Kelly and defense of the Hatters? Uh, Kelly's got, I mean, it's tough because they're hitting them hard, but he's got to pitch contact. And you got to hope for a double play ball or a ground ball. 
So the corners play up. Keep the ball down, really. Corners play up, look to go home. Middle infielder stay back, maybe turn double play. That's what? Uh, he will go home on pass ball. And he is out. Ben Hauser's out at home after he tries to steal on a pass ball. You mentioned earlier yeah, there's that the catcher's blazing speed there. <laughs> that backstop is also short yeah, too. That got away from him pretty far though. So they give, they basically give Kelly it out. Let's see if Ben Hauser tries to steal home. Gets him Kelly out. pumped up there. See if Dad knocks anything. That's first another first pitch curveball. Base is loaded. And the other two runners did not move up. Yeah. Shocking. Is that a curveball? Yeah. It's another curveball. And uh, Ethan Rowe is ahead of that. That didn't even reach home plate and he swung. Yeah. So it goes to. Uh, uh, oh, he did not swing. It doesn't look like 1 1. My fault. So poor base running there by CB East might kill the rally they have. So you have a 2 1 count. Short side in second baseman working to keep this run close at second. Infield will look to turn two. Just get out of this inning. Burke looks like he's got average speed over at second. Good score on single. Takes a low strike. Goes to two and two. Also, got a force to third here, so if uh, it's hit the shortstop, look for him to get a third or try and turn two if it's hit to his left. It's 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a big strikeout for Ryan Kelly. That was a nice changeup. Now batting left fielder Sean Usowski. And here's Usowski, who had a fielder's choice last inning. That was a big strikeout by Kelly. It's two outs now, but a 3 2 lead by CB East. If they get out of this 3 2 lead, I think that's a. That's a big one for the Hatters. They had, they had bases loaded, no one out. This is, might be Kelly's last inning as David Brown is warming up. Let's see the strikeout. Looks like a curveball. He's out in front of it. So we have two outs now in top of the third. Sean Uziski. As Kelly steps off. We have first and second. Brandon Burkhead at second. And Pat Riley at first. He takes the ball low. A little bit outside. Top bar right above for HH next thing. See if they can get anything going. It's in their first strike. So if Kelly gets out of here with just two runs, 3-2 um, lead for East. The top of the order can maybe get those runs back, and uh, Hatters are back in this game. Yeah, the Hatters really want to avoid a shutdown inning next next half inning. That really gives a lot of momentum to the East. And it's a line drive to the gap. I don't think that's going to be caught. Is that will go to the wall? It's McMoon will pick it up. Both runners will score, and Uzaski will get with an R two RBI double. I think we jinxed them a little bit. Yep, I bet Kells. So Pat Riley and Brandon Burkhead will score on that and RBI double by Mike Sean Ziski. And Mike Kaspar, the DH, will come up. Single last at bat. So now the score is 5-2. to two. A lot of ground ball, the shortstop, Zach Prendergast will make the play easily. Good play by Prendergast. He is screened by so the So that's the third arm. out, but the damage has been done by CB East as they get four runs on hard hit balls and walks. We'll go to the bottom of the third. The HH TV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student-produced news show. Or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. 
Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web stream. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. Prendergast. And Zach Prendergast, will, shortstop for the Hatters, will lead off the inning. We are in the bottom of the third, 5-2 game. As last standing, CBS scored four runs on two walks and four hits. Yep. The CBS team, really, they're a lot of line drive hitters. Their team, they have 100 hits and 20 of them are doubles. So that really shows they, they attack the gaps. It's 0-2. I think that was Ryan Kelly's last inning. Yeah, we'll see. I don't, know. I don't see Dave warming up out there anymore. Maybe they work through the jam, though. It's a Keep him out there. ground ball. That'll be a pass to second baseman. And get past the right fielder. And Zach sees that. We'll get the second on the error Ice by the right base fielder. Right now batting second baseman Brad Humpsky. And Humpsky, who walked last time, will Pr come up. Brad has two for two now. Two for two. Doubled in the first inning. Brad came up in a similar situation. Here's the replay of it. Gets past the second baseman. And the pitch the other way very gets nice. right through cool. the lead, the legs of right fielder. I have a hunch he's out, he's not out there for his fielding. <laughs> right fielder. Burkhead. Yeah, he's 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 there. Provide some power in the middle of the lineup. Alright, so we got 0 1 count to Brad Homsky with the man on second. Hatter's trying to get these uh runs back. Homsky walked his first time. His twelfth of the year. That hit him, I think on the uh Hand or the arm. Mm -hmm. So now we got first and now second. Now batting on base. third yeah. baseman Grant Opaliski. Takes that one off. So Grant will come up. First time Brad's been hit this year. Grant will come up with a uh, one for one, and a man on uh, first and second. Fastball just runs inside. Oh, it looked like he hit his hands. So let's see. First and second, no one out. Skranowski takes a tough pitch. Pitch for a strike. Prendergrass is a good speed on second. Good athlete. Brad just finds ways to get on, as yeah. we talked about. See, so has a walk and a hit by pitch. It's his on base now. Six. Six forty. Like it's up there. Looks like he's second in the team. First now and on base. Zach Prendergast, leadoff hitters up there for them. I want to thank uh, Coach Pete Moore for giving us all these stats, mm -hmm. really helping us out. And the coach from CVEs, too. He didn't seem to leave his name. We got one two count. Let's see tying run right here. Good stop by the catcher. Zach almost went to third on that. Thought it got by him. He don't make the first out of third though. Figure anything to the right side will get him over there. It's a ground ball, second base with the turn two. Gets you out of second and gets Grant at first. That's a big double play for CB East. Now batting designated hitter, Chris Nyberg. It's a grand ball. Tough pitch there. Good play by a second baseman, though, to make a quick turn. Pat Riley to Yanni. 4-6-3 double yep. play. 
as Zach Prendergast will move to third, though. With two outs and Chris Nyberg, the DH up. He flew out to right field last time. Yep. That's where you live, kid. Big to get a hit here. Well, that's a rally killer right there, that double play. Yep. So you had the uh, tying run up to the plate with no one out. Santa Harris can get these runs back. and uh, He hit the ball hard, Grant, but hit it right to the second base where he's in double play death. Because it's a 2-1 count to Grant, to Chris Nyberg, sorry, DHing. See if we, the Hatters can get this uh, Zach Prendergast home. Try to bite into this lead. And I work second on the team batting average at 346. It's 3 1. Goes to 3 1, so Kevin Barron is up next. See if Chris can uh, get a ball to hit here. Try to pick up his sixth, uh, sixth RBI of the year. Fouls one back, making a full count. So we got a full count with two outs. Zach Prendergast on third. Hatters are down five to two. Bottom of the third inning. Hatters bench giving some motivation. Here's the full count pitch. And he's early on the curveball, ground ball to third. And that will end the inning. So Hatters get the first two runners on. But after a double play and a ground ball, they'll leave Zach Prendergast at third. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning. The Hatters are down five to two. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters a student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we're back, and Ryan Kelly is back on the mound as well. So come the... Yeah, he really got it going towards the end of that inning. He worked himself out of that jam. So we got a 5-2 lead by CB East. As you can see there, Dave Brown still went up in the bullpen just in case. Oh, you can see that in the background. Don't want to get his pitch count too high. As the number nine hitter for CB East, Carter Uzowski, who struck out last time, will come to face Kelly. Really hope Kelly can come back here. Maybe get a one, two, three inning. Carter, sophomore, third baseman. It's in their first strike. That's what Kelly needs. First, first pitch strike's gonna head the hitter. Really needs to get ahead and count. That's why he falls behind. This East team can hit a fastball, man. That's high. They have been having trouble with his curve, though. As you can see, the ha from last inning, Hatters are getting runners on, so they're not out of this game. Three runs down in the fourth. As they are ahead of that curveball. This goes to one and two. I look for it again with the changeup. Here's the one two pitch. It's a curveball. He's out in front of it. Misplayed by third baseman, Grant Ziski, but. Finishes it. That's a good play by Homsky. Kept it in front of him. Hard now hit. batting center fielder Vince Carragini. Just hit off his chest. Great play by Grant. Yeah. 
So that gives Kelly one out, but he will now face the top of the order with Vince Caragini. Singled his last time. Also has a strikeout. And he scored, I believe. Vince has uh, 10 runs on the year in as many games, I believe. 10, ten games, yep. It's in there for a strike. Let's look at this play by Grant as a hard hit ball after the curve ball. Plays it off his chest but picks it up and gets a hard throw over to first base Kevin Barron. That's in there for one, for a strike. One two. See, uh, Grant Obziski didn't hesitate there. Didn't panic. Picks Instincts up the ball. Over at third base. Two two. Short stop in second. You have a lot of time to think about it. Third base is just reacted throw. curveball here. Ah, uh, you're right. Good call. See, so he gets a strikeout. Now shortstop David Yanni. David Yanni will come up. He's had a day. He had a double and a single. His first two at bats. Let's do the strikeout. I think it was a foul tip, but it is a curveball. So Eric Thomas holds on to it. It's got a lot of the action on it. And then he throws that up, which doesn't break as much, but it has similar spin to it. Tough to pick up. So we got a 0-1 count to David Yanni. Fouls it off. Kelly looking like a different pitcher out yep. out here. Won't, su won't be surprised if you see him out out there next inning. If you can get him out here. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> Sorry, Kells, if he uh, jinx you a little bit. The one two count. Looking in the bullpen behind the first base. Looks like it settled down a little bit. David Brown's still out there. David Brown, as we believe. We don't have, that's not official. Yeah, oh yeah, that's safe. But uh, he's uh, stopped throwing. So goes to a two two count. Ice player's not wearing long sleeves. I don't know how they're doing. Yeah, I have a I sweatshirt can't jacket. Over here. <laughs> Low 40s, I would say, mid 40s. Goes to a 3-2 pitch, 3-2 count. Here's the full count pitch. It's a line drive, second baseman. Brad Homsky hits off his gloves. Let's see if he can get the out. He does. Two great defensive plays by Brad Homsky and Graham Ziski to get Kelly a 1-2-3 inning. So Kelly bounces back and will go to the bottom of the fourth. Let's see if the Hatters can get some runs for him. And here's the replay. Homsky staying with it. Making a good throw to get Yanni out first. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters, a student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet, from Crooked Billet Day to graduation, from the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year, to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we are back. It's the bottom of the fourth. Hatters are down five to two. Nice 
bounce back inning by Ryan Kelly. Let's see if Kevin Barron, Lane, and Kelly coming up can uh, get some runs for the Hatters. Yeah, that quick inning really helps them get back in the dugout quickly, get the bats going. As uh, leaning off right now, like I said, Kevin Barron, who uh, struck out last time on that uh, strike him out, throw him out in the first inning. See if the second time around he can pick up this pitcher. Right fielder Kevin Barron. The call from Eric Rubenstein. First baseman. Let's see if the header. Every inning looks like the header's got, got runners on, just hasn't uh, took yeah. advantage of it. Taking Eight, advantage three of three hits, a couple of walks hit by pitch. Takes a ball high. See Eric leaning on deck circle. Here's a 2-0 pitch to Kevin Barron. It's in there for a strike. It's popped up in the air to the right field. Right field underneath it. Gets the out. It's the first out. Now batting will come up. left fielder Eric Lane. Lane struck out his first time. Looking to start a rally here. Eric's a bit of a spark plug. Just a sophomore. Here's the pitch. Just Bounces. Just outside. <laughs> Bounces in front of home plate. Tried the corner and missed. And uh, Eric Lane will start off 2-0. and No errors this game. It's been a very good defensive showing by both teams. One, One error. That uh, right field. Right uh, fielder for yeah. CBE is right. Zach Brennergast. Doesn't have it on the scoreboard, but... Uh, well, it didn't affect the uh, hit, but it affected him going second. Danny Bondi or can score where I believe down there. As uh, Eric swings and misses, evens up the count 2-2. Two -two. So like the catcher call time out here. Something wrong, something in his eye. Was it contact maybe? Kelly waiting in the on deck circle. Catcher has his mask back on. And ready to go. So we have a 2 2 count, one out. Bottom of the fourth. Hatters are down 5 to 2. Here's the pitch. That'll be a ball. Lane Lark's another full count. Second full count of the day. Yeah, I got a bat last time, just couldn't finish it off. Let's see what he does here. I'll take the walk. Like discipline. Now batting pitcher Ryan Kelly. See if Kelly can help himself out here. Playing good, good base runner. Might take second. Looks like we have some kind of controversy here. Did they appeal down to first base maybe and see if he went or third base? I mean. On that see check what, swing. See what's going on here. This timeout has been called by the. That's the field ump. I think they're yeah. uh, arguing the check swing. Or not. And. Uh, Dennis Riley having a word with him. All the Harris players up off the bench.
Here's the replay of it. Does not look like he go. He went there. The catcher. Yeah, I think everything's okay. They're just a little miscommunication. That's the second, second one we have of the game. Is Eric Lee safely on first? Looking at the signs from uh, Coach Pete Moore. Big bender there. Let's here's another look at it. Yeah, he nah. did not go. It's good camera work. HHTV crew. It's a ground ball, short stop. On his knee, tries. Gets the out second. And gets the out at first. Wow, that was a close play at first. I'm not sure if they got him, but we'll go to the top. Top of the fifth. Headers are down 5-2. to two. Let's see if Kelly can come back on the mound and uh, shut down CB East. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And it is the top of the fifth. Ryan Kelly's back out there again as the Hatters are down 5-2. to two. What do you and uh, we got the middle of the order up with uh, Ben Hauser, Brandon Burkhead, and Pete up. Let's go back to that double play that ended the uh, bottom of the fourth. What did you uh, What did you see from there? Uh, that's, that's a tough one. Kelly had a nice hustle. It looked like he might beat it, Hauser. but it's really hard to get the ball in the air even versus this pitcher from East Wellhalf. He's got that sinking action on his fastball. It's tough to get backspin on it. As uh, Ben Hauser will lead off the top of the fifth. Let's see if Kelly can uh, get another one, two, three inning here. RBI single last time. Takes a pitch outside. That's a 2 0 count. Looks like David Brown is still warming up in the bullpen. Just in case yeah, we. Uh, he's got his jacket on now, though. He's wised up. <laughs> Scully takes a 3 0 pitch, threatening to put the leadoff runner on. And on four pitches, Kelly will walk the leadoff guy. And Brandon Burkhead, the right fielder, will uh, step up to the plate. Now batting right fielder, Brandon Burkhead. And uh, we just noted that David Brown, one of the bullpen, had his jacket on. With that leadoff walk, he takes off the jacket and begins to start throwing. So, uh, you need to get him a chair out there. Yeah, he's been out there all three innings. Mm -hmm. Throwing the Chris Nyberg, the senior, DH right now. You can uh, see Dave warming up in the background there behind Kelly. Can't see him now. As Kelly throws over the first base, Kevin Barron. Hauser's in there safely. Hauser doesn't have great speed, but can move a little bit. Got thrown out at home on that pass ball a couple of innings ago. Kelly's thrown five straight balls to start six. the six straight six balls. Straight yeah, balls. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. 
And there's a strike. 2 1 count. It's a ground ball to the second baseman. Brad Homsky throws up to Zach Prendergast, and he will not throw to the first. It's a good slide by Hauser. Yep, took out Prendergast from throwing it to first. Now batting second baseman Pat Riley. Here's a replay play of it. It's a ground ball. You see uh, Brad Homsky ready for it. Yeah, he shit too far away to get to there. Goes over to his right. You can see the takeout slide by uh, Ben Hauser on Zach Prendergast. Brandon each one, make sure he held the ball. So Brandon Burkhead is at first base, and Pat Riley will step up to the plate against Ryan Kelly, who has one out the top of the fifth. And throw strike one. Riley has two walks today, and a run. Ooh. Good tag by Kevin Barron there. Oh, the jacket is back on for Dave Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it's half on. Oh, it does. That's a oh, fair ball in front of the plate. Oh. Eric Thomas gets the ball in front of the plate, tags Burkehead at uh, Pat Riley out. First base Good play by Thomas there. Heads up to tag the runner and throw it to second, but tough, tough hop for Prenti there. As now Burkehead is at second base with two outs. So. Two unassisted. If you're scoring at home. <laughs> and uh, Ethan Rowe will sell it to the play who has two strikeouts. So look for Kelly to uh, give him a third one. He's out in front of that curveball. Let's see the replay. I thought it was a foul ball, but uh, heads up play by Thomas to tag him. Almost had the out at second. But uh, just short, Zach Prendergast. Uh, Misplays it. Yeah, well, that wasn't too bad of a throw by Thomas. Tie. Man, we are just jinxing these players. Yeah. Burkhead, solid be at second base. You got a 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Hillback with the strongest arm in the outfield at right. So we got a one-two count. Ethan Rowe threatening to get a uh, third strikeout on the get on the day. Uh, I expect to see uh, Ryan Kelly throw curveball here, get him off balance, and this end the inning. Let's see where the catcher sets up. Eric Thomas sets up outside. Hey, yep. Expect the curveball here. He does change up, all some kind of off speed, but gets an out, ends the inning. CB leads a man on second, but uh, does not get him in. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The headers are down five to two. The HH TV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters, a student-produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams Good events fun. live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation from the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web stream. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we are back. It's the uh, bottom of the fifth. The headers are down five to two. Coming up now is Eric Thomas. 
Behind him will be Mike Mimone, and then the top of the order with Zach Pendergast. Eric Thomas walked last time up. See if he can start a rally here. Harris has three more bets. See uh, fouls one back. I think Kelly's day's done, do you? Yeah, now we see Dave really warming up in the bullpen. See, it's a line drive to the right field. And it's a foul ball. Lost track of that one for a little bit, but uh Eric Thomas just laid on the fastball. So we have an 0-2 count to catcher Eric Thomas. Well I have to stay through that one. He settled down after the first inning, giving up two runs. Mm -hmm. Three shutout innings. Except the top of the order has given trouble. Two times they've faced them. So uh, if Eric Thomas and Mike Mimone can find a way on, we can see a threat to get some runs up. It's runs back. And Eric Thomas will look at strike three. Now batting center fielder Mike Mamone. Mike Mamone will come up. Struck out his first time. Let's see if he had better luck this time. As Michael Mamone will take uh, ball inside, goes to 1 0. Last time we did not mention his. Uh, Stats, do we have them there? Yeah, he's, he's struggling at the beginning of the year. He's batting 167. But what for him to pick it up? Because Mike's good hitter. He won't, he won't let that game for too long. So here's the 2 0 pitch. Oof. Just outside. The strike. 3 0. Or 2 1, sorry. Oh, he's supposed to hit that. The fishing rod. Now the count is even up at two and two. Mike's got to be swinging here. Looking to get on base somehow for the top of the order. Zach Prendergast on deck. Brad Holmesky in the hole. So he does Ooh. foul one off. That hit Pete Moore? I think it might He's hit right. Pete Moore. He's we also have uh, one of our team over there. Yeah, watch out. P not showing any emotions, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sarah Pascarello on the camera you're seeing right now. Good job by her, giving us all the batters. Now we have a full count to Mike McMillan trying to get on base. Giving the headers a good at bat here. Let's see what he can do on the 3-2 pitch. Fouls it off. <laughs> Fouls another pitch off down the third baseline. He's starting to figure out this uh, pitcher's fastball now. How it sinks down in LA. He's on it now. She's just straightening it out a little bit. Let's see the payoff pitch. As he lines the fastball in the gap, left fielder picks it up and he'll hold it first. Great at bat by Mike Mamone, number nine here. Now batting shortstop Zach Prendergast. And you hear Zach Prendergast comes up for the Hatters. He's two for two on the day. See if they can get a double play here. And Ben steals second. That's why half gives up his fourth hit of the day. Here's a replay of that. A nice at bat. A little out in front of it just uh, pokes it in the left field. 
Here's the pitch to Zach Prendergast. Swings and misses. That sinker. So we have center fielder Mike Mamoon on first base. Would you uh, send him here with one out? Uh, tough call. This catcher looks like he's got a good arm, but... I Ooh, that hit Zach right on the leg. Uh, I don't have that decision anymore. <laughs> Prendergast does lead the now team hit by pitches. Second That's his baseman third, third Brad hit by Humpsky. Pitches Speaking of hit it. by pitches, Zach Hump Brad Humpsky comes up, and he was hit by a pitch yep. last at bat. And it's hit him right on the leg. Yeah, fastball. Yeah, his fastball runs inside. And uh, Zach Prendergast, as we know him, shows no emotion. Yep. <laughs> Dustin Vitroic, I uh, checked that. Brad Humpsky comes up. <laughs> Walking hit by pitch. Brad takes a ball low. He so represents a tying run. So I was just going to say, he represents a tie run. Let's see if he can uh, get on base here with one out. Get a little rally for the Hatters as uh, we might see Derrick Brown coming in for relief. Got relief. the jacket on again. In there for a strike. Sun trying to peek through the clouds here. We got action in CVE's bullpen as well. Taking my asking left fielder who that is. Is that 35? Brandon Burkett. Warming up for CV East. He takes the ball inside. Burkhead is uh, currently the right fielder, so we'll see the defensive right. changes he'll CBS coach will make. That definitely means he's not warming up. That might be 15. Anthony Barilla. We'll get clarification on that. Oh. Anthony Barilla has turned two innings this year. ZRA is 3.5. See if Hopski can drive him around here. We got a 2 2 count. Two runners on. First and second. One out. Bottom of the fifth. Hatters trying to get a spark here. Get back in this game. Down 5 to 2. Gets an undefeated CB East. So grab ball up the middle. Shortstop bobbles it. And he's That's safe at second base. Everyone's safe. That's now batting third shop baseman the Brent Opaliski. Couldn't handle it. What do you call that? Do you call that uh, an error? Mm. Tough play for the shortstop. Looks like trying to get the double play started. Yeah, Here's I need replay. to replay that. Here we go. Here we go. A little early on the curve ball. Gets right past the pitcher. Bounces up the middle. Shortstop. That's an error. Uh, that's a tough play. He's got to get one out there. He got to handle that. This great news is he comes up. He grounded into a double play last time with. This is who you want off in this situation, too. Grant Patton, 444, coming in on this game. He uh, walked, uh, he has a single and double play, like I mentioned, so he's one for two. Pete Moore is just showing Mike Moon where he wants to be after each pitch. Fouls one back. The big at bat for the Hatters. Pounder gets the second, Ramon on third, Homsky at first. Good speed around the bases right now. Ooh, wow, he wanted to kill that one. Hanging curveball. I think it was like it stopped before we got to the plate. Goes to one and two. Got to put the ball in play here for Grant. Chris Nyberg's on deck. Here's the one-two pitch. Good hold by Grant. They're starting to see this guy a lot better. You can tell him each a bet. Infield looking for two. Fouled off. 
drive away, protect there from Humsky, or not Humsky, Obliski. So we have Humsky at first, Prendergast at third. Second. Second. And third. Mimuna third. Thank you. There's the 2 2 pitch. Good hole that gets past the catcher. So we've seen before, you cannot run on this backstop. Yeah, my man didn't even get that look. So now we have a 3 2 count. Nowhere to put Grant Lomziski. Catch go around and talk to them where they will go. Probably just telling them what pitch he wants to throw. Probably not going to put down a sign. Got to lay one in here. So that huge at bat as the sun peeking through. And that's a ball outside. He will walk in a run. Now batting. All the runs will move up and Mike Ramon will score. Nyberg. So now we have bases loaded, one out still. 5 3 game. And Chris Nyberg with a single could tie the game up. Is that Grant's first RBI of the day? No. No, second RBI. Yeah, he had the RBI single earlier. So that tie runs at second and Brad Humsky. Two RBI yes. single with uh, Prendergast and Humsky coming in the first inning. What? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Three, R three RBI day for Grant Blisky. So we got making some noise today. Meeting at the mound. Wait, is that Eric Thomas out there catching? Uh, Dave Brown, that is, I definitely think Kelly's done. Believe so. He's got his gear on. Talk about that. The next inning, let's see if the Hatters, if uh, Dave can come in with a tie game. As, uh, looks like Outfield's playing in normal depth, so a single here from. We might get a single as it's a line drive to the gap, and what a catch by the center fielder that will score a run. Chris Nyberg with the sacrifice fly there. Bring up an RBI. Now batting first scores. baseman Kevin Barron. So not a bad at bat by Chris Nyberg and the uh, RBI. Mm -hmm. As now it's a 5-4 game. Let's see if Kevin Barron can uh, help him out and get a single here. Get Bye. on base and Brad Humsky can score. Tying on okay. just 90 feet away. Here Here's the it. replay. Great catch by the center fielder covering a lot of ground. See Puts a glove up there and makes a great catch. That's Car Caragini. He's going to play at Shippensburg next year for baseball. Also, the leader, lead off there hitting 470 on the air. So we got sophomore Kevin Barron up. 5 4 game, bomb of the fifth. Hope Whiskey leads off first. Tried to lead steal last time. It worked. I don't want to go back to that. Same situation, Brad at third. Pete Moore giving him the signs. Brad also uh, tagged up on that play, so he went over to third. Got an 0 1 count to Kevin Barron. So the Harriers have done. As the delay store ha steal has happened, as Grant's in a rundown, Brad goes home. Did he reach he home plate? Time, nah. If Brad reached home plate before Grant was tugged out, that is a run. I think he's about three steps short. Yep. And That's we go to the top of the sixth inning. They did not. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year 
to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. Hatter's biting to that lead last inning as now 5-4. to four. Kelly's job is day is done as it goes to the so he goes to first base, and junior David Brown will come in. Chris, can you talk about David Brown a little bit? Yeah, David Brown's ERA 1.24. He's only pitched six innings, junior, but good strikeout to the walk ratio. Seven strikeouts, one walk. Now batting center fielder, Sean Sousa. Give you some good innings here. As for Kelly, he, yeah, good day versus this tough East lineup. Left fielder. Did all you could ask him to do. So we have a bottom of the order up, Sean Uzitsky. And we got action in the Harris bullpen, I think. Get Ward on who that is. Yeah. I would think it'd be Hillwack or Markovic, but I think That's Hillwack's in there for a strike. Right. And Tyler Markovic warming up in the bullpen. This is another strike. Good pitch by pitch David Brown. Ball. I think it's safe to say that Kevin Barron's in right field and Hillowack might be warming up in the bullpen. Thank yes, you. you're correct. And Kelly's at first. You better eyes him. Another nice curveball. Wow, great pitch by Ke by David Brown who comes in and really frustrating. Now uh, batting designated whiskey. hitter Mike Caspar. Here's Caspar. Has a single today. Let's see if Dave can. Keep up the Dave also has the lowest whip on the team at .71. Walks and hits per inning. Look for him to be on the uh, top of the rotation next year for the Hatters. Let's look at this pitch by David Brown on the replay. Nice curveball here. Ooh. So out in front. You can just disappears. And he fouls it off into the woods. We have a 1-1 one, one count to Mike Kaspar, DHing. It's one for two. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch for Dave Brown. Wow, that curveball is movement on it. Mm -hmm. Well, I late break. Just snaps at the end. So we're in the top of the six, and the Hatters are down by one. Look for it again here. Ooh, Ooh that hit him. His foot trying to throw the curveball. Ran too far inside. So let's go back to that now play that ended third the Carter bottom Wachowski. of the fifth as they tried to delay steal as they did in the first inning. That got yeah. him a run. The pitcher just saw it coming this time. He uh, stepped off as he heard the footsteps. Brad Homsky did not get it home in yeah. time before Grant Robiski was tied out, tugged out at uh, first baseline. Zach gets by. Eric Thomas, the catcher. Cast for Moose in second. So we have a man on second, one out. But let's see the hit by pitch. Curveball just runs too far inside here. Gets him right in the ankle. Yeah, it's painful. It's in there for a strike. Dave throwing a good fastball today. As Carter Uziski's up, it's a 1 1 count. I want to note that the high school plays seven innings, so the Hatters will bet two more times. And we might be able to see extra innings. It is a close game versus two great teams in the SOL Continental League. The count goes to 2-2. Runner on second. That is Kaspar, who got hit by pitch. And then went to second on the pass ball. Here's the pitch by Dave Brown. Another curveball. Good block by Eric Thomas. Yeah, Eric's got his handful of both these pitchers' curveballs today. Has a He's lot of good blocks. He's done a good job, yeah. Here's the full count pitch. It's fouled off. It's good for the uh, Hatters to maybe get a shutdown inning. 
to try to keep up the momentum, maybe get some runs back. As next inning, Eric Lane will lead off for the Hatters. As his pickoff move, and he's Got out him. at second. Dave Brown caught him leading as that's the second out. What? Casper just got too far off. Great move by Brown. Let's see the replay of that. As you can see. Yeah, not a balk. You can do that. Wow. That was a big play for Dave Brown and the Hatters. And now we have two outs. Nobody on. Full count. Let's see if Dave can get in out here and get out of this inning. Before the lineup turns over for East. And he does get some swinging or looking. So we'll go to the bottom of the six. Eric Lane up, followed by Ryan Kelly and Eric Thomas. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation from the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we are back. It's the bottom of the six. I want to make a correction. We are very sorry. Kevin Barron is up. Um, he was up during that crazy play we had in the bottom of the fifth. So he will stay up to bat. And his uh, count will restart. We do have a new pitcher for CBEs. Chris, tell us a little uh, about him. Anthony Berlia. He's got one win in his only appearance. His ERA is 3.5 in two innings of work. So not a lot of experience this year, but... The CB's team is loaded. I don't, I don't expect a big drop off. Kevin Brown steps to the plate. So the Hatters are down one run in the bottom of the six. Still gonna get a little rally here. Bottom of the order. A base run. As Eric Lane is due up on deck, and Ryan Kelly. We believe is in the hole. Could be a change after the pitching substitution. So great, great job by uh, David Brown. That might be his only inning of the game, but great job to coming in. Yeah, and well, I don't know. Hillwack isn't in the pen anymore, so. Uh, so he hits a, Kevin Barron hits a fly ball center field. It's caught by uh, Kerrigan. Now batting left fielder Eric Lane. Hillwack isn't in the pen anymore, and he's not in the order, so. Brown might be out there for another one. And we will go to the top of the seventh, which is the last inning. So here's the pitch to Eric Lane. He has two good at bats. This kid's throwing hard, Brilia. Takes one high. Still got a funky motion there, too. It's a big boy. <laughs> will be a Heath Bell. Yeah, that's Maybe. what I was thinking. In their first strike. He's fouled off. Yeah, looks like he's on it. Lane's had a couple good bats today. We're a couple full counts, got a walk. It's two and two here. Let's see if he can fight a couple pitches off. You have to remember, he's a sophomore, so it's Kevin Barron. They're up there battling, hitting the ball hard. Yeah, they just work, work counts very nicely. No, I think all of Lane's at-bats have been six pitches or more. 
really making the pitchers work. So with seniors Grant, Chris Nyberg, Zach, and Kelly leaving, and Mike Mamone as well, you can see Eric Thomas, Eric Lee, and Barron, Brad Homsky, Dave, Dave Brown, Brown well. step in there next yeah. year, and also I got, think it's another also run. Got Thomas Fisher. And that's a hit past the first baseman, second baseman. And Eric will get that now single. Now batting first on. baseman Ryan Kelly. Eric's had a very nice Ryan day, Kelly right? does come up. Eric's had a very good at bat today. So he finally gets a hit that he's looking for. Maybe Kelly can give us a souvenir out here. Let's see the replay of that hit. So the lefty hits it hard past the first baseman, second baseman. Seeing C and I single, as they call it. As he gets on first with one out. Kelly with the only home run of the year for the Hatters. Let's see if he can give a souvenir out here in left field. Take the lead in this game. Eric back in there easily. Let's get out to a good lead. Don't doubt him to go. Kelly grounds the ball down the third base line. Third wow. baseman will pick it up foul. Lane will go back to first. You see his son picking through now. So it was, it was really cold to start the game. It warmed <laughs> up a little bit. it's not now. <laughs> <laughs> right. it, well, we, probably, we can't even feel our toes and hands yeah. right now. So Let's see if this creates some uh, shadows that makes it difficult to hit for the hitters. So our dirt. Count goes to two and one. Tries to pick off Eric first. Maybe get him leading. Sophomore gets back. Oof. Kelly did not like that pitch. See, so he looked right down the coach Moore. Now the count is even. Kelly calls time, steps out. With the close game, every at bat means something. Both benches, everyone's standing. Uh, Kelly goes down swinging. He is not happy. That's a tough pitch. Now batting tough catcher pitch. Eric yeah. Thomas. So with two outs, Eric Thomas will step to the plate. He is 0 for 1 with a walk today with a strikeout. Let's see this strikeout. This thing just disappears down and in. As you can see, Kelly is not happy. I don't know who would be happy after that. Yeah. Well, I expect I'm usually thrilled, actually. <laughs> Eric's taking a good size lead over there. Yeah, he can't, he can't get him over there at first. It would be big for the Hatters if uh, Eric Thomas gets on here, brings up Mike Mamone, and then next inning we'll see the top of the order. Prairie Grass, Homsky, and Poliski have all, they've all had good days. Prairie Grass with two runs, Homsky with a run, and Poliski with three RBIs. As the count goes to two and one, Eric Thomas trying to get on base. Like Mamon also singles last time he's on deck. I think that's why one reason why we won't see Eric run here because of the order and where we are. Got to get Mike Mamone up and get the top of the order. And that's no offense to Mike Mamone, but that was a great job by last at bat. He got the single and got a rally started. Get an extra step there. He works a full count. Well, Wayne will be off now. Full count, two outs. Let's see if Eric can put one in play. Yeah, Gapper will probably score him. Erica. But above average runner, left fielder. He does go. Eric hits a line drive. That's a big hit. Eric Lane will get to the third. Oh, and Pete Moore is sending him home. Here's a big play. He holds it. What a hit by Eric Thomas. That is clutch. 
as the Hatters will tie it up in the bottom of the sixth. Now batting center fielder Mike Maymo. Mike Maymo comes up and Eric Lane goes first to third as he was on the run. Wow, what a play that by Eric Thomas. That full count Lane. was big, allowed him to go off the off the uh, sound of the bat, allowed him to score. Sanford had a little trouble bobbling it, but I don't think it would matter. Well, let's see this play. Eric, Tom Eric Lane is already at second by this point. Eric Thomas just drives that in the left center. Wow. One for two on the day with a walk now. As Ramon steps up. And that hits the only one that matters. Yep. We got two outs. Oh, long count. Right, Eric was uh, rounding third. The whole bench came out. It's, it's a yep. huge run. Ties it up. This would be an upset for the Hatters to beat CB East undefeated. Move up in the division. We still haven't seen Wack out there. I wonder if I'm guessing Dave Brown's going to come back for another inning. Michael Moon grounds the ball a second. Should be an easy play. So that's a third out, but what a hit by Eric Thomas as we tie it up and we'll go to the last inning, top of the seventh. We're in for a good one, folks. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters, a student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web stream. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. We have a tie ball game, top of the seventh, the last inning. Vince Caragini will step in the play, top of the order. Dave Brown comes in for a second inning. Hey, whack back up. Back in the bullpen, just in case Dave gets in trouble. As Dave had really had a clean first inning. So we have a 2-0 count. Gonna use one for three with a run. Let's see if Dave can get out of this inning without a run and Hatters can come up in the bottom of the seventh, get a little walk off here. Bring you some exciting action here on HHTV. Cause a strike. This is different than the softball game we did the other day. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> the Hatters softball won 15 to nothing in only four innings. And uh, for CB West. This we could be seeing more than seven now innings in this game. Shortstop David Yanni. And Vince Caravini walks. The off walks are huge. David Yanni will step up to the plate. He lacks usually the closers for this team. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he. Uh, it's getting close to it. Let's yeah, see what happens this here. Brown has a short leash here. Send there for a strike. Let's see, if we got a double play ball here. It would be huge. Let's talk about last inning. That was a great play by uh, junior and sophomore. Not even, no seniors involved. Good clutch some. performance by Eric Thomas and Eric Lane yep. to get on base. Eric really worked that count pretty well, too, to make sure that Lane could get, not to make sure of that. Here, wait, here we go. As Yanni tries to bunt, he'll get out first, but Caragini will walk now to second. Catcher ben but he worked that count to put Eric Lane in position to run, give him an extra couple seconds. Good bump by Jan, Yanni. So they bring up the three and four hitters. So Ben Yanni. Hauser will Hauser. come up. And uh, we got a man on second. One out. 
Single here will score him. And CB East will take the lead. Let's hope that does not happen. Yeah. Oz is one for two of the walk. It's in the dirt. Let's look at this bunt again. Let's see the bunt. Sacrifice here. Oh, man. I was, yeah, was going to hit him if he didn't bunt that. As Grant makes the play. Way to get it down. Did not have a chance to get the guy at second. See the sun really peeking out here. Feels really good. It does. I'm like defrosting as we speak. We got a 1 1 count. It's in there for a strike. One and two. This would be a huge strike out here for Dave. As you see, it's a tie game. Got that nice thing. Kevin Barron moved to right. Ryan Kelly to first. Good arms in the outfield all around. Fouls it back. I would only bet here he's going with the curveball. Because they just timed his fastball. Fouled it right back. To the curveball here. Shiani, what do you know? Wow, we talked about that's a huge strikeout. Two outs will bring up Brandon Burkhead. Brandon Burkhead. Let's see the strikeout. This is a big strikeout. See the curveball. CB East all day have been early yeah. on the curveball. They hit him. Uh, they hit him. Yep. Now batting. Second base baseman, Pat Hit Riley. by pitch. So Pat Riley will come up. We have first and second. Two outs, top of the seventh. Tie ball game. This is the last inning. But if this stays tied, we will go to extras. Black looks like he's ready on the bullpen. I don't see too many more uh, hitters for a day. See if we can get out of this. That's John Hillowack. Opelski back at third. Back Kelly at first. Dave's second hit by pitch. That was a back. So we got a 1 1 count. This is a huge Riley, good for one today with two walks. He's really been marking the count well. Single here will give CBS the lead. Oh, mm. Outfield's in pretty shallow, but good speed at second. Good save by Eric. Yeah. So we got a 2 1 count. Let's see what Dave does on the 2 1 count. I'm sure Burkhead or Pat Riley expecting a fastball. I think he does get the fastball, but it's outside for but four strike. 2-2 two, two count. Here we go. You're hearing chatter from both yep. benches from the big pitch players here. Players in the field. Oh, way to kill the drama. <laughs> Pat Riley steps out and calls time. I think the fans are too cold to stand up. <laughs> nah, there's some of them out there standing. Maybe because they just forgot Here's chairs. Pitch. Great job by Eric Thomas. That great block there. He's having a great game at the plate and behind. Yeah, of course, he had the game-tying single last inning. So you have a full count here. Two outs, runners will be off. Same yep. situation as last inning. So in a single here, they'll definitely score a run and maybe more. As he lines one, the shallow right field. Kevin Barron in the third catch. Great job by David Brown to get out of that inning, and we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. We'll see if we can see some sparks from the Hatters offense. Coming up. Let's go. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at haperhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own 
and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we are back. Let's see the replay of that last inning. Full count, two men on. And a, uh, looks Whoa. like Dave throws his arms up, pop up to right field, and Kevin Barron comes running in, makes a catch. That's a huge catch. So now oh. we have the top of the order. Zach Prendergast, Humsky, and Obliski up. They just need one run, and this game is over. Prendergast has two runs today with two hits and a hit by pitch. He's been on base all three times there. If he gets on base, yeah, that'd be huge for the Hatters. This will be another huge win. This is get some right back big in. half inning. Bowie is still on Takes the for strike. CB East. So one count to Zach trying to get on base. See lines went down the third base line and it's foul. See so that has only pitched two innings this year, so this, this is a big situation for him. So However, he's a senior. Maybe, maybe he was hurt or something. So we've got 0-2 count. It's a big spot for Zach, needs to protect. See, fouls one down the third base line. It is That's fair. fair. And off. he throws it away! Zach will get second. And, and third. Now batting. No, just second. second, second. Wow, so Brad we have second. Brad Humsey up with a single that you could win the game. Wow, that's Pitcher huge. comes out to visit the mound and try and calm him down. I think Brad Bunt's here. I, I think we could definitely see a bunt. Let's so see the replay of this. Is. Looked like it just went down the line. Zach running hard down the first baseline. Third baseman picks it up and throws it away. Carter Wies Whiskey throws that low off line. That is a huge that's a, play. That's a tough angle throw there. Wow, so I want I like you said, I think we could see a bunt here. Bring him to third. We got one out. And then you think it happened. Third, third and first basemen are both on the grass. There, there is. is a bunt. Uh, Pops it up. Ooh. That would be tough. So we have the wheel play with the third baseman coming in and shortstop going to third. Luckily that was foul. We don't want him to pop out. This is a huge at bat for junior Brad Homsky. Would love to see him get something done here. Catcher comes out, gives the infielder some signs. If Brad was too late down bunt. the bunt. Pernogas, good speed on second. Hatters need just one run to win the game. Seton Hall commit. Good athlete. Expect him. And Oof. Brad shows bump but takes for his ball. So we have a 1-1 one -one count. So we have a 1-1 one -one count to Brad Homsky. Man on second. No one out. Tie ball game. Bottom of the seventh. Had to just need one more run to win the game. I think the whole stadium just yelled back to Prendergast. He gets back in time. Up play by you, yeah, him. you cannot get him ticked off. Gets Jersey nice and dirty. Big game by Zach getting on base. All four times. Big hitters coming up after Brad Obliski and Nyberg. No one warmed up in the East Penn, so this is boy his game to win or lose. Shows Bunt. Did he catch that in the air? There's no, no, no call he didn't. for. There's no call from the ump. No, he did not. The ump pointed now to the ground. Now batting third baseman Grant The third baseman was confused there, too. So Brad is safe. So yep. we have no one out. First and second. We might see another bunt here by Grant Ozyski. 
Ump didn't call anything. I wasn't uh, sure what he happened. He pointed to the ground. I'm I think the third baseman thought he called it. So yeah, he, he lets Brad go to first. Zach stays at second. Good heads up play by him. Then I get thrown out at third. Let's see uh, see if we got something here on the camera. So we got a bunt line drive. That's what I thought. Diving play. That's I it. guess, I mean. The ump pointed to the ground. He didn't really give give the third baseman much help on what he was calling. So we got first and second, no one out, like I said. Let's see, what, let's see what they can do with Grant here. Grant's a great hitter. Senior, all league, third baseman. Let's see what Moore has for him. I don't think he'll bottom him here. Does they try to pick him off? Play there with shortstop right in like he wasn't covering anymore and the second baseman slid in behind to try and surprise him. Trying to pick off Zach at Same thing, yep. Zach has, uh, Grant hasn't shown a bunt yet. Mm -mm. What do you think they do? I mean, he's a good hitter. Uh, you am swimming away. It's like buddy with Chase Utley. Yeah. When someone's batting near 500, you am swimming away. They expect they, bunt. Yeah. Oh, uh, this could be two. It's shortstop sex on first. And he gets out wow. of Wow. Wow. Steps on third, gets out of first. We have two outs, and Brad goes to second. Now that is incredible. They, they expected a bunt. They did the wheel play. The shortstop was at third base, steps on third, and makes the third of first. Just un un unlucky, I guess. Yeah, wow. So now it's a big rally wow. killer. Yeah, we still got Humsky on second with good speed. And a good hitter in Chris Nyberg, so yep. we still have a chance here. Here's the pitch, and it's popped up to the shallow. Oh, that's foul. a foul ball. Getting excited there. That could have <laughs> dropped. Now works over three today. Open runs come through here. Senior DH in today. Also catches. There's Brad Homsky. Good speed. He can score on a single. I think uh, Coach Moore will take that risk. Of that, that checking. gets past the infield. He's going home. He's just checking where the outfielders are. Bowed off. It's behind O2 now. Got to protect. Here's the 2 pitch. It's a grand ball shortstop. And Tough pick. he'll oh. make the play. So we'll go to extras. Tie ball game. We'll go to the top of the eighth. Let's see what Dave Brown coming out to pitch. Get right here for some free baseball. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters a student-produced news show, or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. I don't have time for that anymore. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation. From the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover, HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we're back. Ethan Rowe takes a 
pitch for a ball down the dirt. Ethan Rowe just made that great pick at first base to save the game for East. Tough hitting for the Hatters. Got first and second, no one out. Ooh. Tough pitch for Dave. So we got Dave Brown back out there. Pitch two innings. Shutout ball. He'll act back up in the bullpen. It's in there for a strike. Off walks are killers. You really don't want to give them up here. So we got full count. Full count to Ethan Road. CB East during that last day, I think, had it's pumped up after that double play. It's a fly ball. Looks like Kevin Barron's calling on, calling on it. Makes the catch. One-handed catch. Yeah. Surprising he called off the center fielder. He was, he was going away from his body. The moment was coming in towards it. So Sean Yuzinski will come up. Try to get something started for East. Really impressed with Dave Brown today. Yeah. Really am. I like what I see from him. Yuzinski's one for two. It's a ground ball to Kelly at first. Starting pitcher for today. He's first the play out. of the day. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Now bad>. <laughs> <laughs> throw, that, yeah. <laughs> throw around after pitching. Maybe not. Maybe just start leaning in enough outfield practice. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Mike Mike Hasbar on DHing. Looked like Ryan Howard there. As the wind kicks up and knocks all of our papers over. We have a 1 0 count in the top of the eighth, extra innings. 2 0. It's in there for a strike, 2 1. It's a ground ball to Brad Homsky. Second yeah, cool. base and makes it out. So we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Great pitching by David Brown. Let's see if the Hatters can get something going, get the run, and we'll get out of here. The HHTV department offers DVD copies of all events broadcast on both the television and internet. See an event you'd like to have a copy of? A win by the Hatters. A student produced news show or competitors struggling to win the annual wing ball. Simply email Bob Anderson at banderso at happerhorsham.org and include which event or events you would like to own and your copies will be mailed out to you. Now you can relive and memorialize all your favorite Happer Horsham events. HHTV now streams events live to the internet from Crooked Billet Day to graduation from the multitude of sporting events we cover throughout the school year to the entertaining concerts we cover. HHTV has it all. To view the stream, click on the Watch HHTV live stream icon on the district webpage. View the schedule below the streaming window. HHTV web streaming. Never miss a Hatter's moment again. And we're back, bottom the eighth. Great pitching by Dave Brown. And Kevin Barron will come up, followed by Eric Lane and Ryan Kelly. So let's get a quick recap. First thing, East put up one on the top, and then Harris came back with two. And then in the third, they put up a four spot. And then Harris creeped back in the fifth and sixth with two runs and one. Most notably, Eric Thomas' RBI single to bring Eric Lane in. And now we're in extra innings as Kevin Barron leads off the inning. That's in. With a single to right field, and he slips. Right fielder slips with Kevin, Kevin Barron will get the second base. Clutch hit by now Kevin Barron to lead off the inning and get the second. Got Dan, hit that the right field. So here is 
Sophomore Eric Lane try to bring in the sophomore Kevin Barron on second base. I think we'll see another bunt here. Yeah, we got pinch runner John O'Malley in, sophomore for Kevin Barron. John's got six runs on the air. He uh, pinch run earlier for Eric Thomas. Let's see the replay of this leadoff hit. That's a huge hit for Kevin Barron. He just inside outs this, right? Whoops it over the second Thought base. Thought had a chance for the right fielder to get underneath it, but. What? Yeah, what does he do here? Spinning. Mm. Ball spin and uh, went past the right fielder. Center yeah, field picked it up. The right fielder is disgusted with himself right now. In the outfield, you can tell. So the CBS coaches came up and uh, is coming up here and then talked about what's going on in the situation. Um, look for Eric Lane to bunt the guy yeah, over. That's what, so. what they tried to do last Have inning. That's what they tried to do last inning. Kelly and, uh, come up, one out runner on third. That'd, that'd be, be huge, ideal. Future Kelly come up after the day he had. He comes up, hit a walk off, knock on wood. Ah, like killing. <laughs> <laughs> Kel killing Kels today. Let's just let's uh let's see what Eric Lane can do here. John Alley, great speed on second base. It's key for Eric to lay down a bunt if they do. I don't imagine they don't, but again, I mean, well, think of it this way: he's a lefty. I mean, he's got a good chance to pull a ball. That's that's like true. the same thing as a bunt getting true. the third. Oh, Ooh. 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 Hatters just need one run, and they'll get the win. And this is a huge win for the Hatters. Still no one warming up in the bullpen for East, so they're gonna let this. Kid, go. He'll back in the pen for uh, hats for like the third. Lane does not show bunt. I don't think that means anything. They could have said bunt the second pitch just as easily. Maybe see if they take the wheel pitch, the uh, wheel play off. Might look for a strike. Get a strike here. Er, like what we said, Eric Lane has three good at bats. Over six pitches in all three at bats. So it takes one one. Touch pitch. But his job right now is to just hit the ball to the right side, pull the ball. Lane hits a line drive to the right field, and it is caught. John O'Malley oh. got caught up at third, and he'll get back safely Six. because of the fall by the right fielder. That could have been now batting very dangerous for the Hatters. Ryan as that ball Ali. was caught, Ryan O'Malley did not tag up. Yeah, his inexperience there. Wow, that could have been very dangerous. If that's if he doesn't catch out, he's gonna score anyway. That's but a good hit by Lane. Good yeah, catch by right fielder. Yeah, that one on the nose. We got Ryan Kelly up, one out, run on second. So now I do not think with one out you do not bunt. Nah. Let's see if Kels can get a uh, single here and win the game for the Hatters. That was a hard hit Eric. ball by Eric. I yep. think we can see maybe more hard hit balls by the Hatters. Okay. The Eric Thomas on future. deck. Had the key RBI in the bottom of the sixth. Follow him by Mike Mamon. And by the time Mike Mamon comes up, I think the game might be over. Hopefully. <laughs> Knock on wood again. <laughs> I'm killing him. <laughs> so we got one out. Bottom of the eighth. 2 0 counter. O'Malley gets a solid off second. Ryan Kelly. You see O'Malley in the bottom of your screen. 2-0 two two one curveball? 2-0 two, two oh curveball, wow. I think Kelly was looking fastball there and surprised him. Here's the pitch. It's a line drive to left field. I don't know if he's going to send O'Malley. Here's the throw from left field. This game could be over. Right. If he's safe, he's, he's in over. there. He is in there. Ryan Kelly wins the game for the Happy Horsham Hatters. They beat the undefeated. Central Bucks East. What a win as all the teammates meet Ryan Kelly. What a day for Ryan <laughs> Kelly. He had a tough day pitching, but comes out Bounces and back. wins the game for the Hatters. Comes up there, 0 for 3, gets his first hit of the day, hits it on the nose to left field, and great run base running by John O'Malley. Great call that. by yeah. Coach Port Pete Moore to get him in there. As now the Hatters will meet Central Bucks East. The now one loss, Central Bucks East. As they will now move up in the standings. What a game. Yeah, they improved the 5 and 3 drop east back to 7 and 1. And they got, really got a chance here to defend their title. Let's see the replay of this winning run by Ryan Kelly. Wow, see what a John game. I. 
He's off on contact here. P. Moore sends him home right and away. He's flying. Perfect. Doesn't break stride. Let's see the play at home. And he is and in there. Head first. In head the first slide. Wow, what a play. Head first in the home play. It's usually pretty risky, but he put his body on line for you that one. You see Central Bucks heads down. That is a huge win for the Hatters. Cannot so, talk about it enough. Dave Brown will pick up the win for the Hatters, I believe. Great job by Dave Brown. Yeah, Ryan he, Kelly, shaky, shaky start. Dave Brown comes in and uh, gets the... Gets his first win of the year. He moves to one and the only year. Let's also note the reason we came in the extra innings. Eric Thomas yep. with a huge single. And Eric Clayton, great base running. What a play. You can see. Now let's see if you can see this, this with bat by Kelly. Here it is. What a swing Ooh. by Ryan Kelly. Takes a low and away curveball. As you can see, he shot. can see. He can see. That he won the game. Well, let's look at his reaction after a long day from Ryan him Kelly. Now going to the home plate right now. Look at that jumps in the air. That's a picture you want to take right there. He was telling me this is the biggest game of the year. He's he's pitched for this team. Wow, what this a season. game! Yeah, senior season. Hatters down five to two. Comes back and uh, fights back. Uh, now the road ahead of them. They got a. This could be this they could got, be a start yep, of they something. They got a good chance. This could be a start but of something. Ryan Kelly, senior season, last home game versus East. They're seven and zero. And I, there's Coach Moore talking. To, I don't know. I mean, what he could be. He's got to be. Thrilled. Who gets the game ball this game? This is what I want to know. Eric I Thomas mean, had a great game behind the plate. Dave Brown came in through some great relief. Kells with that huge hit. Prendergast is on base three of his, every time. Brendan, with yeah. Two runs. I mean, a lot of great. Open whiskey with three RBIs. Just all he, around and. Even again, you can look at it from seniors to sophomores with Kevin yeah. Barron with that leadoff. That's that's Kevin Barron running home right there. Mm -hmm. That's John O'Malley pinch in for him. That's Kevin Barron. So um, let's wrap this thing up. We have uh, Hatters with the uh, with the win in uh, extra yep. innings. With the five and three in the conference. He's East Falls for the first time in league play. And you can see here's uh, the wrap up of the game. Good defense by the Hatters all around. And. Uh, I want to. I want look at the. Here's the run by. Let's say, that's uh, Zach Prendergast. Big stone. That delayed steal by Opolisky. That was huge. Yeah, that got Prendergast in. I want to say talk about Coach Pete Moore. Great coaching job by him. Bringing yeah. Dave Brown. Went to take out Ryan Kelly. Left him in. Aggressive um, third base coaching too. It really paid off. So let's wrap this thing up. I'm Andrew Crompton with Chris Malazzi. Chris Malazzi, and I want to thank HHTV, Mr. Anderson. I want to thank the whole crew. What a game. What a game. Look for the Hatters to come back in the playoffs. Cannot wait. Go Hatters.